Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial we're going to be taking a look at the input box. Now the input box is very similar to the message box, but instead of just displaying a message to the user, it will get something that, it, that they type into the text box that is within the input box. Now let's go ahead and create a new project and we'll make a little demo application for this. Go ahead and shrink this down a bit. Make sure you select Windows Forms application and we will just call this input box okay now we're just, we're just gonna go ahead and click OK we will wait wait for that to load and now once it's done loading let's go ahead and resize our form so let's go over here and open the toolbox now we'll come down here and we will add a label now let's go ahead and change the text to nothing because we don't want anything yet and we'll change the name to label hello user okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna double click on form one and this will bring up our code for the form one and you can see here that create it created our form one load sub so that whenever the form loads it's gonna do whatever is in that sub and since we don't have anything yet it's not gonna do anything now let's go ahead and add an input box. So we'll just go ahead and type input box and we'll add our parameters. And you can see here that the first one is the prompt. Now the prompt is basically what tells the user what to type in the input box. So we'll just type what is your name? And we've got our second parameter which is the title of the input box. We'll just set that to hello. We've got the default response which will automatically fill the text box in for them um, and they can change that what they, to what they want um, so we'll just go ahead and leave that as nothing so we'll just go ahead and add a comma to move on to the next argument we've got the X position on the screen and the Y position on the screen we'll just go ahead and skip those two and we'll go ahead and close our parameters and now what we need to do is create a string so we'll just come up here and declare a string so dim username as string and since the user may or may not type anything we're just gonna go ahead and set this to nothing now we'll go ahead and type username equals and then input box what is your name and hello so basically what this does is it gets whatever they typed in and sets it as the value username. So what we're going to do is we're going to set the text for the label that we've put on the form. So we'll just type label hello user and you can see that it pops up there in our IntelliSense. Let's just go ahead and hit tab to autofill that in for us. We'll add the dot and then we'll just go ahead and type in text. So what this does is it changes the text inside that our label shows. So label hello user dot text and we're going to set it equal to hello and then we'll just add username. Okay, so if we go ahead and run this, you can see that a little prompt pops up here with the title hello and it says what is your name. So if I go ahead and enter Sam and click OK, you can see that our form one says hello Sam. So the input box is very useful. It makes it so that you don't have to create your own forms to get input from the user if you don't want to go ahead and put those con controls on your program, uh, on your main form. So I'll go ahead and play around with the input box, um, look at some of the arguments in it, change those around, and then once you're familiar with that, go ahead and move on to the next tutorial. And thanks for watching.